Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com. Let's take a brief look at this Timken replacement trailer wheel bearing. Now this high quality tapered roller bearing features a special alloy blend that's going to reduce vibration, extending the bearing's life. And this replacement bearing uses the industry standard number L68149. And this is going to fit your inner bear. This is going to be the inner bearing rather for your number 84 spindle. Now the matching race, which is not included, is listed there for you on your screen. This bearing will match with uh, the, the races uh, identified by the numbers L68110, L68111, L68111P, and L68116. Now because this is a Timken product, you can trust that this is going to be really of a great quality. If you're not familiar, Timken is one of the most well-known and highly trusted brands in the industry because their products are engineered with higher quality controls, which ensures tighter tolerances and run out other than, than other manufacturers. This is going to help reduce your vibrations and noise and lead to a longer life when properly installed. And the higher quality is even evident in the way that the bearing comes uh, packaged to you. And the, this bearing is individually packaged in oils so that when it arrives, it's gonna be in very great condition, ready to, for you to install it. Now, as I mentioned, this does use the industry standard part number L68149. And you might be able to see that printed here, right here on the bearing, L68149. And all of the Timken bearings and all typical bearings should have that number stamp, uh, stamped or printed on there. So that's going to be a very simple way to confirm that this is the actual bearing that you need to replace. Just look for that number on your current bearing. Also, um, with the, the races that uh, you are looking to pair the bearing with, the races is gonna help you identify which bearing you need. But if you don't see the number uh, on the current bearing that you're needing to replace, the other way to properly verify that this is going to fit your application is to measure the inside diameter and that's a very exact measurement. So I would recommend getting some digital calipers as I have here to measure the uh, inside uh, diameter. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that in there real quick. Hopefully you can see that. See if I can bring that over. So our inside diameter is going to be 1.3775 inches so it's going to be a very precise measurement but if you can find the number printed on your original bearing that's going to make it a whole lot easier for you to confirm um, which bearing you need to uh, act as a replacement for you well that's going to wrap up our quick look today i do hope that it was helpful for you again my name is andy thank you for joining me